So in this video, you are eagerly waiting to voice track your show, but how do you do it? Let's see how easy it is to use WebVT with Playout 1. First thing we're going to do, we're going to log into our WebVT and you would have been given a username and password by your station and a website address to go to. Uh, we're going to log in here as the admin so we see everything. And once you log in, you are going to be presented with a screen that looks similar to this. Depending on what you have access to is going to differ from user to user. But generally, you see the log, you see uh, the buttons on the top. We're going to go do a voice track. Now, how we do a voice track is very, very simple. First, we need to go to the place where we're going to do our voice track. Now, for me, I'm on tonight at 10 p.m., so I could either jump to 10 p.m. using the button at the very top, or alternatively, I can use the calendar. I'm going to use the calendar. So my show is at 10 p.m., so I'm going to click on 10 p.m. tonight, and then I'm presented with the 10 o'clock log. So here's my first voice track position. I'm going to click on it and then click on the little microphone at the very top of the screen to activate the voice track module. And the first time you do this, you're gonna get prompted by your browser, Firefox or Chrome. We're in uh, Chrome to allow access to your microphone. We need to click allow on this prompt. Now that's allowed access to our microphone, but if we've got multiple devices like I have, we want to make sure we're using the right one. So we go into the settings, we go to the live mic tab and we hit choose input device. And here you can choose the right device for you. I'm using a Rodecaster, so that's all good for me. And then finally, just to make sure everything's saved, give it a handy safety refresh of the page, and then we repeat the process. So now we're ready to go. I'm going to go and click the microphone again at the very top of the page to activate the voice tracking module. And if we hover our mouse over the VU meter over the bottom, you'll see which microphone device you're using. Quick little level check, one, two, one, two and we're ready to record. So how do we record? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just resize this little voice tracking module here so I can see what's coming up. And we scroll down a little bit. Here's my voice track. So I'm gonna hit start recording on the screen and that's going to play me the last 10 seconds of Fleetwood Mac. So let's do that now. So we can hear the end of Fleetwood Mac, that's fantastic. My mic is not yet unmuted though. I need to press spacebar or click the unmute button to start recording. There we go, we're off and running. So the voice track is being recorded. When we're ready to start the next event, which in this case is the Lighthouse family, we hit spacebar again, or we click the button and you can hear the intro of the Lighthouse family rolling on here. Uh, I'm just blabbering doing a link. And then when you are ready to stop, you press space part again or click the button to stop it. It's as simple as that. And then you choose whether you want to save the voice track by confirming or click cancel to do it again. I must also add a little bit of translation in here because for those of you watching around the world, link is a British term for a voice track. I know in the States, we have a break. We do a record a break. And in Canada, we have record a bit. So um, a little bit of international translation for you. Right, let's get back to now listening to our voice track. So we're going to go and edit this and have a little play and see how it sounds. Don't judge the link, but here we go. Let's hit play on it. So you can hear me waffling and we can play around with this. We can change the volume points. We can move the Lighthouse family in and around. So let's change these and have a little listen. Next song. Here is the Lighthouse family now in Rain Cloud. To start that next song, I just press space bar. Or you can choose your mouse. So you can see the volume works in real time. Fire the next item. Well, this is a great song. This so let's say we want to talk up to the vocal. We'll move that and shift it. And then we'll alter the volume points so we don't get drowned out. And it's that easy to record a voice track. Simple as that. Hit the save button over to the right when you're finished. And the final little thing you want to do is when you're happy with your voice track and you've saved it, you'll see there's a tick on the very end of the voice track. That, my friends, tells you that the radio station that you are voice tracking for has received the voice track, it's been imported, and it's ready to go. Do not exit your WebVT voice tracking session without seeing all those lovely ticks on your voice tracks because they will not play out. If you are not seeing ticks, you need to contact your station and find out why. And it's simple as that. That's exactly how you voice track using WebVT. Time to do another, I think.